What's up? I'm Ben, and today we're gonna make a logo for myself. So yeah, today uh, I did a lot of sketching yesterday. I've been wanting to make a new logo for myself because I've been thinking about making like stickers and shit. And I got a, I got a logo for my YouTube channel and all that, but I wanted one that was connected to my name more to me, Ben Stokes, Ben Stokes Designs, something like that. That's what my website or my portfolio website's called. So I was playing around with a couple ideas for that and also um, a bunch of my friends are in this band called Cecil and they got a show coming up or it probably already happened by the time this video's up but I did a little doodle for them too. Just an excuse to get into Illustrator and play around with the pen tool because I've been doing a lot of like manual <laughs> I want to say illustrating, but it just sounds like illustrator. Uh, I've been drawing in Photoshop a lot and it's not vector. So you gotta, per, you gotta make sure you make clean strokes, clean lines. So I just want an excuse to get in there and play around. So first let's do the uh, Cecil image and I'll show you what I'm talking about. So yeah, I just took a picture on my phone. Um, we're in Photoshop right now, just to kind of show you what it is. So here's the Cecil thing. Uh, just a, you know, just a cool little type poster. An eight and a half by 11. Um, very Aaron Draplin esque, thick lines, Michigan native. But yeah, so kind of that idea. And then I'm even thinking of doing kind of like a red orange gradient for the color going up. Another Aaron Draplin inspired move there. But yeah, so this, this might be changed a little bit. Like this big block here, it kind of just. I don't know, it's too, it's it's not similar enough to everything else. So I, I was just even playing around with, I'll probably do something similar to this. And then I might adjust this C and then I might play with this L. Who knows, let's play around, see what we can do. All right, we got the uh, design done. So yeah, just something uh, a little fun, a little simple, a lot of thick lines. Uh, we're gonna go into color now. I'm thinking some, I wanna play around with some gradients and some warm colors is what I'm thinking. So let's do a little searching. Hey, so I found, I was messing around with palettes and I know I wanted to go orange, but I found this color palette um, on Twitter. It's called, uh, Palitra at palette CLR on Twitter that I follow, but it's just they're always posting color palettes And I've always wanted to just use one. It just dawned on me. This is the perfect opportunity to do that So thanks to at palette CLR on Twitter for all the palettes color palettes that you post I'm gonna use one today finally Okay, we have settled on a color palette. Cool little gradient. Um, this looks really retro looking and I like it. It's cool, it's fun. Um, yeah, so I just took this uh, warm gradient. Uh, I was playing around with doing like a greenish background, but none of it was looking very cool. Um, and then kind of flipping the gradients here. But it just looked best if I stuck with the colors in this palette here, thanks to Palette CLR on Twitter. So yeah, Cecil, my buddy's band, check him out. Cecil Como, look him up. Yeah, so that was fun. Now we're going to mess around with a logo. All right, so here is a page out of my sketchbook when I was doing, there was a bunch of other pages, but um, I ended up really, liking this one and let me tell you why so right off the bat it's a circle it is versatile can be placed a lot of places and it will always look good 
um and i was playing with this b shape in here so imagine like this right so i kind of was abstracting the b and i just kind of like this it's simple it's clean and it just kind of looks cool um and then it'll be connected to my name ben ben stokes so there's that aspect to it and then when you flip it it kind of looks like a face so this is how it will be presented it'll be at this angle kind of flipped on its side so it kind of looks like a face that'll represent my illustration i think really well if i kind of make it look like a little cartoon face which it kind of does like kind of like he's looking down like these are the eyes and then this is like a mouth or a nose or something yeah so i'll be using that b shape which is my name get the typography in there and then turn it on its side in a circle cut kind of emblem shape then it kind of looks like a face so I get, I nail the design aspect of it and I get to nail my cartoon illustration side of it. So I think it represents me really well. And I might even put Ben Stokes design in it like up here. I was playing around with that. I don't know, we'll play with it, but let's get it nice and vectorized and play with some colors. So here we go. At first I started uh, using actual uh, B forms from other typefaces. I think Nimbus Sans, just typefaces that I like. But I don't know, it, looked, it started looking less like a face and more like a, like a plug outlet or something. So I just made my own shapes just to suggest it's the B that you can see there. So I have two versions. One is just the plain one and the other one has Ben Stokes designs in it in the Mostra Nueva typeface. I'm just super into that typeface. I use it on my website. It's like old and tall, art deco looking kinda. Yeah, I think it looks good with both. With the words, I think it makes this uh, B shape look less like a face or the whole logo look less like a face. It kind of abstracts it more, which is kind of cool. And then without the uh, type in the logo, it looks more like a face. So, I mean, I think either one could look good. Uh, let's play around with some colors and see kind of what this could look like with some colors on it. Okay, so here it is. I just slapped a few colors on it. Uh, I used the colors from my YouTube logos just to see what it would look like. Looks pretty good. Yeah, the type gets lost a little bit. Just depends on how big it's gonna be. But yeah, I mean, I like it. I think it works good. I played around with some gradients down here. Eh, it looks all right. Yeah, so, I mean, if I ever want to make stickers or like, I don't know, hats or shirts or something, I'll have something, I'll have a cool design that I can always use uh, besides my YouTube one. So yeah, I don't know. Uh, let me know what you guys think about this logo. Um, let me, and let me know what you think about this little Cecil poster that I made. A little different kind of video um two things two, kind of two different little projects in one i just had, had i just thought i wanted to get these done pretty quick they both be done pretty easily thanks for watching um stick around check out some other videos and we'll see you next time